Wow. <sighs> Climate change. Pain in the ass, isn't it? God, what a pain. Eh, not as much of a pain as climate change protesters, apparently. Now look, the world may be doomed, but why don't we just have a good time? <sighs> Let's enjoy the apocalypse. I am. I'm having a fucking great time. Before, you know, the ozone layer disappears and my skin burns off, I'm just going to ball hard. I suggest you do the same. Now, I did hear um, someone I know <coughs> down Guildford Way said that there was people tearing it up at a shell garage, acting fools, getting arrested. But, do you mind? Londoners brace for a second day of climate protest chaos. Um, this is from yesterday, so... Maybe there's going to be a third day. Wouldn't be surprised. Extinction Rebellion. <laughs> I love all these names people are coming up with. Uh, what should we call our gang? Extinction Rebellion. Extinction Rebellion. Sounds like an emo group. You know? So the Eco Warriors camp out before unleashing more threatened direct action on weary commuters after 52 of their group were arrested on Monday. <sighs> London is braced for another day of climate change protest today from demonstrators, including some who sent the night some us. Look at that. Mail online, you bullshit. Someone who sent. Come on, come on. You're a major organisation. You can't have fucking spelling, spelling mistakes like that. Come on. They spent the night in tents in the city's parks after a day of disruption yesterday from protesters who targeted Biddy. Busy, busy. No, I just can't read properly anymore. Busy thoroughfare, thoroughfares. Don't you just love a thoroughfare? Fucking love them. Close to 50 people were arrested as police attempted to move on protesters who spent yesterday blocking roads and demonstrating outside tube stations, following five arrests outside Shell's headquarters. I filmed a music video outside Shell's headquarters before they moved me on, um, where they glued themselves to windows and smashed glass doors. They glued themselves to windows and smashed glass doors. Right. Do you know there's an actual ant on my fucking screen? Paradise. Uh, what the fuck? How the fuck do you glue your hand to a glass door? What? How are you gluing your hand to a glass door? What's wrong with you? Some activists glued themselves to the windows and smashed glass revolving doors at Shell's headquarters near Waterloo. But others spray painted graffiti and hung banners on the building. Workers returning home from areas around Waterloo Bridge, Oxford Circus, Marble Arch, and Piccadilly Circus face being unable to get through by road to underground stations thanks to the Extinction Rebellion protests. At around 7 pm, police started arresting protest protesters still to be found on Waterloo Bridge after police issued an order. Under the Public Order Act, telling demonstrators to limit their protest to the area around Marble Arch. Now, Waterloo Bridge, Oxford Circus, Marble Arch. And that wouldn't have affected my... I don't think that would have affected my old work route. Waterloo Bridge. It was on London Bridge. Oh! I'd be pissed. I mean... You know, I I just got to, <laughs> I just got to say, what what um what's the what's the uh, what's what's uh what's you gonna be achieving now, there, laddies? What are you gonna be achieving? Do you think people? Are, I, I never understood protest because like the date. I swear the age of protesting is over. Don't get nothing done. We've seen one of the biggest protests of all time against the Iraq War, million strong. People of all. Persuasions, people of all political leanings all came together and said, nah, this is some bullshit. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Just just to let you know, nothing happened then. So I'm just wondering what you might be achieving now. <coughs> half these like half these people who protest are just uh, are just so whack, like it's just a day it's just another day out. I swear to God. You know, I've talked about this, I've made a video about it. Look. I swear to God, it's just a day out for them. It's just something to do, and you know, and it 
It soothes their ego, makes them feel pretty. Going out, waving banners, smashing stuff. You know, that's what they do. Now, I know someone who went to um, camp, there was camp climate change down at Heathrow Airport when they were proposing a new runway. Um, and I know a guy who went down there for like two weeks and he was just raving it up. He was just smashing loads of drugs into his face and raving it up for two weeks. That's the only reason he went down there. And there was a hell of a lot of people who went down there to do the same. Just saying. But I guess, you know, upper middle class twits don't really, uh, don't really do that kind of thing. They ain't hanging out of swampy, snorting ketamine, I suppose. Ah, oh, but here they are. Look at them. Look at those. Look at the filthy bastards. Ooh. Oh, right. Police said three men and two women were arrested on suspicion of criminal damage over the Shell incident. Extinction Rebellion claimed they aimed to cause more than £6,000 in damage so they could be tried by a jury in the Crown Court. So, so, you, so your plan is to basically smash it up and then um, get convicted for criminal damage and make a st as a statement is interesting because the type of I mean the type of people that I've seen to um, have got the got the uh, got the inkling of who's going down there like during the riots the last riots you know remember the good riots a few years ago yeah did you get lots of good shit that day those days Foot Locker go down Foot Locker did you ain't saying why I did. Um, I mean, people got mad sentences from that, um, and they were treated a bit differently, and uh, I think other kinds of protests would be treated differently, but because this is just, you know, people from North London who, um, you know, go to artisan coffee shops, and where they have old typewriters and play Charleston music, <clears throat> they're probably going to... Get lenient sentences, I expect. Oh, classism. A Metropolitan Police statement said that the uh, information and intelligence available to the Met at this time means that the Met... That Met... Shouldn't it be that the Met? They said, you know, do I have to... Do I have to copyright... Do I have to copy read your fucking shit? You know, why are you making me work? Huh? Why are you making me work? It feels this action is necessary in order to prevent the demonstrations from causing ongoing serious disruption to the community. By midnight last night, the police said there had been 52 arrests in total, the majority of which were for breach of Section 14, Notice of the Public Order Act 1986, and obstruction of the highway. Good year, 1986. Encampments sprung up last night at the sites of demonstrations in Marble Arch and Oxford Circus, while the Waterloo Bridge looked increasingly deserted. Well, at least South London's safe. Um, so it's going across at least 80 cities in more than 33 countries holding similar demonstrations hmm. some people have set up in Hyde Park there's someone fucking hammering um, transport bosses told widespread disruption amid 20 bus routes being diverted with organisers of the Extinction Rebellion group claiming up to 30,000 eco-protesters will block major routes today the movement which is demanding the government takes urgent action on climate change and wildlife declines has been backed by actress Dame Emma, Emma Thompson is a dame now and a former Archbishop of Canterbury Dr. Rowan Williams well where's God Rowan what's, what's God doing Rowan might I ask what is God's plan at the moment God's plan right look motherfuckers <clears throat> You know, as someone used to commute in London, like, I commute now. This, I commute, my bed's here, and my work is here. So I go, whoop, whoop. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? I just get out, and I go, I, the bathroom's there, and I just get up. Ah, oh, I'm at work. Man, I could, I don't even need to shower. I don't even need to brush my teeth. You know what I'm saying? I can smash, I can smash, and go to work. Smash. Go to work. How jealous are you now? He's drilling now. Man's drilling. Man's, man's drilling. 11.30 in the morning. Drilling. That's what he's doing with his time. He's drilling. He's drilling. Well, he's probably a hard-working man. What am I for say? Probably can hear me anyway. But, but look. Look, motherfuckers. I want to... <laughs> okay. 
I mean, I used to work at a place where um, if you turned up at a certain time late, you weren't allowed to work, and they'd send you fucking home. <coughs> Which would probably mean I'd have to get up like six people would probably get up at the fucking six five in the morning, getting to work for fucking nine. Is your asses? Like, like I can just, I can just see what people are gonna be saying. Uh, it, uh, it just makes it. Oh, it gives me a horrible feeling thinking this would be going on. I could be there. All you annoying motherfuckers. I mean, protesting is constantly taking up police resources. Constantly annoying commuters. Because I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be stuck on a bus, right? For fucking ages. Swear, you know. With all the fucking, with all the rest of humanity surrounding me, right? I ain't be stuck on that fucking bus, right? With a bunch of jumped up fucking protesters gluing themselves to things and smashing things because they want to get arrested. Would you want to become a jailhead? Do you want your fucking jail credentials? Because they want to be arrested. I'm not gonna be sat on that bus for fucking ages and going, "Oh, well done you, well done you. Yes, very good, very good." No, I'm going to be fucking pissed. I might get off the bus. Start dishing out some of that justice. I tell you, these motherfuckers. And look, what, what, do, you th- what do you think is going to happen? You know, like, do you remember the 80s? The ozone layer. There was the ozone layer and CFC gas. Right? We got, you know, we got rid of fridges. Aerosols were never the same again. That was fucking years ago. That was like three decades ago, bro. All right? We did that. We brought in recycling bins. All right? Now you've got to have 22 different bins to put your shit into. You know? Unleaded petrol came out. You know? Solar energy. Closed coal mines. People weren't happy about closing coal mines, but we think about like the environment. The environment, guys. The fucking environment. You know? And half the North starved to death, apparently. And then they made Billy Elliot. That, that happened. Like, we've been doing our fucking bit. What do you think she's going to do? Who do you think is polluting the fucking atmosphere? Have you heard of China? Have you heard of India? These are two nations on the up and up. Dr- Listen to this. Listen to this. They are on the up and up. They are coming out of the shit and rising, ascending to the sky. Rampant industrialization. Like, they build a factory probably every day. Right? There are literally, there's cities of 10, 20 million people in China you've never heard of. It's fucking massive. And they're polluting it. And they don't give a fuck. Because all they care about is getting from, is setting up their plan, getting from A to B to C. So what do you, what do you want to, what do you, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think they're going to lobby China and lobby India? Like half, you know, Asia is poisoning the fucking, <laughs> is poisoning your sky. What, what do you think, they're gonna, do you think the Chinese are going to care? Why don't you go down to the Chinese embassy? Why don't you go bother them? You know, go down to Chinatown and say, Oi, yeah, get on the phone and tell Xi Ping Ping that I bloody want my climate back. Like, <coughs> <coughs> what are the British government going to do? They're doing their bit. They've been doing their bit. We're going to ban all cars. They got congestion. Remember the congestion charge they brought into London? The congestion charge. Do you know how much congestion is going to come out of an engine that's stationary? You're going to be breathing in so many fucking fumes. You live in a dirty, filthy city anyway that's killing you. Do you know what I'm saying? Just move to the fucking countryside. What's wrong with you? Well, what do you think they're going to do? Do you think Theresa May is going to get on the phone to China? Oh, hello, China! China! Oh, oh, there's people smashing shell garages and gluing themselves to windows. This. I must apologise for the, for my neighbour, but you know, they got things to do. I got things to do. We have to coexist. It's it's it's. A, it's a, uh, but anyway, Theresa May's on the phone. Uh, yes, 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 please, please. There's people could there's bother. There's middle class people being very bothersome in London and uh, smashing things. And um, I think you should shut down all your factories right now. Is that what you think? Is is that is that is that part of the plan? Is that in the plan? Is that in the plan? Is that in your plan? Do you think that's going to happen? Fucking hell, when do people become massively childlike idealists? I swear that's going to come through the wall. Anyway, what else is going on? Are these some angry tweets? I hope so. 
If you want a really strong start to a Monday, may I recommend a restless night's sleep, a 9.30 a.m. osteopath appointment, followed by a very long bus journey through whatever protest is going on in Parliament Square right now, tired, bruised, and late. Look at you being able to have an osteopath appointment at 9.30 in the morning. Protest about global warming is shutting Waterloo Bridge. Laudable, but means buses have stop going over the bridge and passengers who were travelling by bus have sought taxis to take longer journeys to get to where they're going. Not me, though. I'm walking briskly. Yeah, I'd walk it. Allow that on the one day I get the bus to work that all the routes are messed up because of the demonstration. Oh, it says Haley Sproul. <laughs> and this one where my face is in the way. Sorry. <clears throat> Campaigners include the granddaughter of a baronet well, that's the ca- i mean you know you know i would have turned out thinking well yo yo i would be like yo 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 where's uh where's swampy at where's swampy at no but baroness baroness higginbottom is here oh good well where's swampy i want to boss some ketamine no the baroness is here all right anyway are demanding the introduction of a legally binding policy to reduce carbon emission to net zero by 2025. By 2025, that's six years. They say, right, okay, who, who, who? They say they will continue to block key roads in London for weeks and escalate civil disobedience if their demands are not met. I'm <laughs> so that's going to laugh at that civil disobedience. Fuck you, motherfuckers. This is really like for fucking thousands of pussyos. <laughs> <laughs> no, climate change, no! Like, like, arms like twigs. You've got twiglets out there. Man, you, they, they wouldn't even bust out the water cannon. It would blow you in half. You'd be fucking cut up. Like that scene in, in the fourth Rambo film when he gets that Gatling gun and he actually shoots a Burmese man in half. Anyway, for weeks, uh, the next part of their global rebellion week saw human barricades formed at Marble Arch, Oxford Circus, Parliament Square, and Piccadilly Circus. Do you know, when it was a few a few years ago, when um, it was one of the hottest summers, like uh, 2016, uh, it was like around June, like uh, London went fucking mental, like absolutely mental. They were steam, you know, they were, they steamed that McDonald's in Marble Arch. They actually just ran in and started making their own fucking burgers. There was a water fight in Hyde Park that broke out into like actual stabbings. And I seen I seen images of people throwing Hennessy bottles at the police. Like, that's some fuck shit. Like they caused more disruption. And frightened more people just by being hot. This is just another day. All right. You know, do you, do you really think with all the shit that goes on in London, like, constantly, that you, th- you think that um, just a bunch of assholes gluing themselves to windows is going to do anything? I mean, really. And, and like I said, go to, go, to the, go, to, go to the, go to the, go to the, go to the, go to the Chinese embassy. I mean, do I even really want to read any more of this? We want to protest uh, Olivia Evershed, 23 good age. I hope that it's really going to bring awareness about the emergency crisis that we are in and encourage the government to act. I don't know, maybe it's 32 years too late. They can change a few of the laws along with the Paris Agreement so that we can really work towards achieving a practical target. We've got 12 years to act before there is irreversible damage to the environment and we start to see catastrophic changes if we don't do anything to change this our children will die (laughs) you know what the best way to solve climate change is to stop having children is to have less kids it all contributes there's those women who um seen it and they were like they were like um they don't want to have children because of climate change as some sort of protest or statement or because they're idiots and scared i don't know it's like well that actually helps so that's actually doing something but those women not admitting that no one wants to shoot their club up um, has actually done more for this cause than you have, you know. So, just, you know, I'd say, um, you know, sterilise yourself. Just sterilise yourself, you know. Just do that. Uh, what else is there? I felt strongly that I needed to get out and show myself. That's what it is, though, isn't it? You, should, you have this, oh, I need to do something. I need to be seen. It's like, look, motherfucker. I don't know why I'm calling you that. It's very derogatory. Sorry. Um, You know, rather than just talk about it in the pub, I see the disaster unfolding around me. Do you know, you're doing about as much as talking in the pub. 
It is terrifying and the government have done nothing despite all the warnings. The government have been doing stuff for fucking decades. In this country. Not this country. I'm in a different country. In that country. They've been doing it for decades. It's been, go- it's been going on. It's been going on. If I had the Daily Mail, we've done more. <laughs> With their campaign of a plastic bags. Now we all got to pay 5p, 10p for a fucking plastic bag. You go out here, they literally just give you plastic bags. Even if you walk in a shop and don't buy anything, they'll just chuck a plastic bag in there. Hey, do you want one? Fucking, I've got more plastic, like, I just end up with, look, I've got one here. Do you know what I mean? That's on my bed. It's just there. Plastic bags everywhere. How annoyed are you? Are you angry? Are you going to come over here and start preaching? <sighs> one driver caught up in the chaos told Sky News, well, I knew it was coming. It's not ideal, but I do, not, I do understand where they're coming from. Another added, it's fair enough, really, but we're pumping fuel out the back while they're stopping us from going. I'm not happy about it. I'll end up going back down. It will cost me another two hours in the day. Yeah, well done for... Uh, uh, see, uh, I'd say, look, when it comes to disruptions, I can remember a, a, few, a fair few years ago, I was on my way, dry, training home for Christmas. I was, I was on my way to um, my parents for Christmas. Uh, I was living in Guildford at the time and uh, had to change uh, Woking. And someone, some inconsiderate shitbag, killed himself. Can you believe it? threw himself off the bridge into the front of the train. Dead. Now, I say inconsiderate shit bag. That was the general consensus of everybody there. I mean, I was like, I was annoyed, but I was like, eh, eh. I mean, I think he had problems. Um, and there was some French guy. I remember I got in the lift room and he was going, inconsiderate bastard. <laughs> and then, and the even worse bit, they brought the body bag, the, the, body, the body bag brought it through the platform like through all these people whose journeys have been delayed like just wheeled it through and people weren't shocked I think some people actually wanted to kick the body to death again like re-kill it I'm telling you that's that's the mentality of people that's what they think they're not going to look at you and go oh good for you oh what a shame he killed himself it's like oh I can't get to work <sighs> do I want to read any more of this I don't know it was one of five central London locations being targeted by demonstrators demanding that the government declares a climate emergency. Well, I mean, if they just declare it, is, is that going to be... Is, will that be all right if they just declare it? Well, I declare an emergency. All right, thanks. We'll go home now. <sighs> the so-called Festival of Action will see food stalls set up and talks given in the middle of the road. <laughs> Asshole in the middle of the road giving a talk. Some protesters even plan to super glue their hands to objects in the road and each other. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> Do it! Someone will run over and kick you in the head. <laughs> That's probably why. One of those expect. <laughs> what is expected on the streets is Tamsin Omond, the granddaughter of Dorset Baronet. Sir Thomas Lees, the 35-year-old, went to Westminster School and Trinity College, Cambridge. What has, she, what has she got to say? Left-wing academic Roger Hallam, whose stated ambition for the group is to bring down all regimes in the world and replace them. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you wanker. <laughs> Roger Hallam. Roger Hallam. My mum says hi. Woo! <laughs> Last November. These people are a bunch of wankers. I'm sorry. The core of the thing is the cause is just. It's the people. <coughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like Millwall. Millwall, you know, you didn't you could say, you know, imagine if Millwall played beautiful football, but it's just the supporters. You'd be like, yeah, I mean they play beautiful football, but fuck me, the people that like them are absolute wankers. No offense to Mills, but you know, you got a reputation, you earned it. I mean, you wanted to earn it, you earned it, alright, you got it, you got it. Although QPR are worse. That's, that's a little known fact. Just saying. Just saying. Nothing to do with that fact. That's my brother's team. Nothing to do with that. Facts. I mean, the more I read of this, the more I just want to headbutt something. The movement, which is demanding the government takes urgent action on climate change and wildlife declines, has received support from, yeah, we know all this, Rowan Williams. Well, Rowan, Rowan, phone God. Just call God, Rowan. 
just give God a call. I mean, I don't want to. I think I've. I think I've. I mean, here, look, flags. Dame, what's this? Dame Emma has previously said of the demonstration, it's time to stand up and save our home. Earth, right? Organizers, 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 so the International Rebellion begins and Extension Rebellion will be bringing London to a standstill for up to two weeks. <laughs> that fucking sucks. Uh, well, that's across 80 cities, 33 countries. One more to say. Look, there's Emma Thompson. Emma Thompson doesn't have to commute, you know. Just remember that. Emma Thompson don't need to commute like you do. Just remember that. Look at her. Well, I, I've i said all there is to say. I, I don't really... Uh, I don't really have much more to say on the fucking map. Oh, you see that? Oh, you can check all that out. And you can subscribe or follow or like and, and all that kind of things. If you enjoy me, just tearing seven shades of shit out of people for no valid reason just do it you know make yourself at home mi casa su casa and remember the apocalypse is here so you know that person you always wanted to bang go bang them fill them with babies then they're yours forever that's what i'm gonna do peace out